Alright everybody, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So what we're going to be watching today, and I mean <laughs> right now, what do you mean today? Right now is first person mode. So it looks like we've got a trident. Now when I first saw this trident like a few seconds ago, I was thinking what if we could throw a net in our other hand like one of those gladiators from the Roman era. Oh my god! Talk about kicking a man while he's down, tridenting him. Oh, <laughs> the trip. Oh, dude, there's just nothing quite like physics based combat, is there? And that's what I love about this game is there's just no game like this with physics based combat. And now, where you get to control a unit in first person with physics based combat, look at that. He's using the scythe from the farmer faction and literally scooped up a knight. He probably could have scooped up a lot more. And now we look. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I really just love the like flicking around and tossing and turning him. Look at that, the, a double trip, a double trip. Anyway, so that looks like a halberd and now we've got a spear. Oh my god. Can you imagine if they ever made, if Landfall ever made um, it possible where you could first person... He, he just skipped the sword off of the spear. If you could make it, oh, guns. If you could make it possible, I gotta finish this thought or I will lose it, of riding the horse with that spear like, um, oh my God, it'd be like Mountain Blade, but like physics-based combat. First person jousting in tabs. Oh, wouldn't that be legit? All right, so that was the pistol. Now this is the sniper rifle. All of these guns look like exactly like the ones that were in tab Z. Totally I could battle Zombilator, which we saw a lot of things in. I've noticed that the first person control of this stuff is better. Oh my God, these Vikings are absolutely wrecking them. Yeah, I recognize this gun too. Look at that. It's a little like Clob SMG and I call it the Clob because that's what it was called in GoldenEye 64. What a classic game. These guys look like the Taekwondo kind of kickers. Okay, now we got a pump shotgun man and it looks like they've customized like the ammunition because you can have 30 rounds uh without having a reload i would say that's clearly mono oh my god and this is the rcp 90 you remember that from goldeneye and obviously it's based off a real gun but man and then those vikings just absolutely wrecked them okay guys so first person control in tab so i think the first question that I know many of pe many people will ask and many new people will ask is Baron 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 when is tabs coming out? The official word is late summer, early fall. We are definitely in the late summer area. So it could be soon, it might not. You don't say nada, I don't know. Shoot, man. I I would like to know, but you know what? I think that like when it's done, it's done and then release it, right? It's been almost a year. Speaking of a year, it is August 8th, 2017 today. It is my birthday. That's right, guys. It is my birthday. I'm really, really excited because I remember last year at this time in early August, I was just um, coming down from the biggest month in terms of YouTube of my life it was crazy the first month that like i was dedicating myself to this channel we were playing tabs like the first month was july and the the channel exploded we went from you know we almost went to like a hundred thousand subscribers in that month and we hit 12 over 12 million views now in july uh, this last like last month we beat that so a year later We finally beat that milestone because we basically this channel. I don't know for lack of better words I guess you could say it kind of went mini viral, you know the success of this channel and the Explosion of tabs and it was fortunate because I love tabs and that's why I was playing it And it's clear that everybody else did too and as a result the channel thrived and now we have Baron's Brigade now this channel is growing um, I I am firmly of the belief that we could easily hit a million subscribers and that's weird to say Easily just judging off of like what we've accomplished as a community and what we've been doing So anyway, it's it's my birthday. It's awesome. I was away this weekend So some videos there weren't like two a day. I was in Asheville, North Carolina I went uh, mountain biking hiking and whitewater rafting I spent a lot of time on my computer, but I do like to get outside and adventure and explore It's just part of my nature so so that was fun. That was fun. It was a, a little bit of, you know, a, a present to myself of sorts. But anyway, speaking of presents, I just got to say thank you guys so much. Um, 
for all the love and the support over this last year. Um, year and, I don't know, maybe a month or whatever since we've been grinding it out on uh, Baron Vaughn Let's Play. By the way, I need a rebrand. I don't, I don't know what to call this channel. So if you got ideas, let me know. Also, with regards to Tab's relation, um, I, want, I would love for you guys to give me your custom battle ideas, but also I would like challenges. You challenge me to do certain things. And uh, I think we could have a lot of fun because over the next kind of uh, month in, or two, we're probably going to be ramping up Tab's things prior to release. So if you've got any cool ideas, let me know, Baron's Brigade. Where are you at? You know I love you guys' suggestions and ideas. That's one of the cool things is the way that we collaborate, you know, to basically make better content and a lot more fun content. So anyway, guys, let's get into the custom battles. And there is a challenge for today. All right, everybody. So the first battle of today is the Battle of Naboo brought to us by Mr. Bear Cobb 44 who doesn't love Star Wars? So, the blue team are the Gungans. Do you not remember the Gungans versus the Trade Federation in Episode 1 of Star Wars? My god, that was a really cool battle, I thought. Um, specifically because of the Gungan energy shields that could reflect laser blasts. Which, by the way, would be an amazing unit in tabs. However, they're not going to have the Neon Faction in the tabs release because they're not really a balanced faction is what they were saying on stream anyway so we've got the blue team the gungans versus the trade federation in red here 75 laser pistols as battle droids three ballistas aats and two watches as the mtt fire which were the troop transports now let's start this battle up guys so i'm pretty curious but by the way i've noticed that Oh my god, look at this. It's been it's been like two weeks since I've gotten to play tabs, and this is so fun to just kind of hop back in. This is like a game that literally has like changed this channel and just got us to a point where we can make amazing things happen. So this ballista is getting absolutely wrecked right here. Just got smacked. The Gungans absolutely dominated. Absolutely dominated these guys. Now I'm trying to think. You know what they need is they need some beam rifles. Otherwise, they're just going to get slaughtered. So we're going to put a few special forces droids, which I don't think were at the battle. Well, I'm fairly certain because they weren't in the movie, right? But we're going to put one over here as well. Well, two. Maybe those can help because there definitely were in later, uh, you know, times in the during the Clone Wars. The droids got a lot, a lot more creative the Trade Federation that being, oh my god, look at that guy. I love physics-based combat. There needs to be more physics-based combat games. Ooh, you know what? Look at this. We realized one of the issues was one of the MTTs fired and hit the back of a tree, which greatly, greatly, you know, minimized the damage that the droids could use. And this one's actually kind of firing off into nowhere. Dude, look at this. This is just nuts. How did he get in the tree? What? We've got a... We got a sniper in the trees. No. We, oh my god. Speaking of Star Wars and trees, we need Ewoks. Okay. So Ravenfield has allowed for you basically to be able to customize the models. Imagine if there was a mod function for tabs when it released whereby you could edit the models. What would you make? Oh my god. These special forces guys are absolutely wrecking. They just wreck like... The massive formation of Gungan. What was that? How did that shield get there? Oh my god. Oh, I, I actually think that the special forces could win. If this guy can land a spear and damage the shield or the uh, energy sword master, which is Captain Tarpoles, by the way. And then the ninja master was uh, Jar Jar. Jar Jar Binkus, which is probably one of the most nefarious and honestly hated characters in all of Star Wars. Oh my god. That guy just barely got nicked by that rock. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I I think that the uh, droids could win this one as just a result of the special forces operators. Now who's left? They've got. Oh yeah, this guy's totally dead. You ready to see a man? Look at this. So the uh, energy swords are just regular Gungan soldiers, and that's all she wrote for them. All right. So now obviously we have to have the Gungans winning, right? So let's see. Here is Jar Jar. Now, I guess they made the, uh, I bet, I guess Bear Cobb made the Ninja Master as Jar Jar because remember when he was juggling those, like, energy blue spheres that could, like, explode and were, like, EMP type devices? Which was interesting. How did the Gungans have those? Like, oh, we're perfectly situated. Maybe it was electrical. Like, it could have shocked and hurt humans or rather biological organisms as well as mechanical. 
All right, so let's see. We've got to do something different for these guys. What if I put these on the front? I'm not sure if that'd work, but it, it's definitely worth a try. Um, because it might protect the Teslas a little bit longer. Actually, I want this one over here so it doesn't block potential shuriken. All right, let's see what happens. Because if the Tesla... Oh, dude, that's not... Come on, Tessie. Tessie the Tesla. Oh, look at that. I don't... I think they have a chance. It depends how many soldiers are able to get up. Ooh, that ballista just... What? That rock ran over this soldier and he didn't even die. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right. Hmm. There has to be a lot of units left. Okay, Jar Jar's here. As long as he... Ooh. As long as Jar Jar doesn't get taken out... Oh, he's got... <gasps> Come on, Jar Jar! Dude, this is... Wait. This is classic Jar Jar. He's missing a lot. Oh! An arrow? An archer shot him? Where are these archers? Oh, there are the archers. <gasps> he almost got him, he almost got him, he almost got him. He's gonna get him. Right there in the knee. And there we go! The Gungans are victorious. The good guys. We gotta cheer for them. Good guys, boys. You know, the good guys is, is our guys. They're, they're our guys. So, I'm just really curious if we're gonna be able to do in tabs um, basically changing the models. Like it's basically just a visual change, but if you could make soldiers look like stormtroopers, like Ewoks, um, all kinds of things like that, imagine the kind of content we could create. Isn't that freaking amazing? I would love that landfall if you're listening. It, consider the idea, please, because I think it would be so much fun. All right, next battle. All right, guys, so this, uh, this second suggestion, I don't know why my words just escape me like that, comes in from Mr. Mox TV. You haven't done any challenges. It's been a while. Is you, are you German? So here is a challenge. The map is Sahara, and Mr. Mark's army is about to conquer my land? The Baron Kingdom? Sacrilege! Heresy! You cannot attack my- Oh, you can attack, but I will counterattack, Mr. Marks. So, his army is two lines of shieldsmen and spearmen each line. Oh, I did that wrong. I gave you... Spearmen. One moment, please. Alright, so now we got it right. So, he's got- This is his army. It's like 5,300 something dollars. Um, oh gosh, and he's got a samurai master as him. Let's go ahead and put that in. So, here he is. Now, yeah, so 5,830 dollars. And I have $3,000, but I'm only allowed to use the Asian and Greek factions. And I'm not allowed to use the plague. Wow. All right, so if I can only use Greeks and I've got 3,000, I definitely want... Oh my god, how am I going to kill all these archers? Oh my god, this is going to be crazy. I don't know if... I need quantity and quality, but I don't think I can afford both. Okay, so I've got what? Asian and Greek factions. Let's see. What do we got? A Hawacha could be very effective and would have to be effective for me to win this. But look at that. I would need a, a great many of them. Hmm. What if... What if we just... I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna have the great samurai battle. We're gonna do this. I've got $3,000. I can only use these two factions. I have to kill him without losing one. Nope, that didn't even work. This is not good. This is terrible. He's got so many soldiers. I'm already down to like 50% units. This is a very tough challenge because of the amount of money I have. Oh my god! And those archers. There are 35 archers that I have to deal with. Alright, so clearly... That won't work. I think the whole watch is... Could I use... This is gonna be... And then, let's try this. That's $3,000. It depends how good the Hawachas are at killing the enemy forces. They are kind of missing most of them. The archers are down, but I've only got three guys, two of which are already dead. Yeah, that's a victory for them. All right. Okay, so wait a minute. If I've got Greeks, then maybe I think what I need to do is use shields because they have so many archers, right? All right, I've got if I've got three thousand dollars, I'm gonna send some on these flanks here to distract as many archers as possible without attracting too many of the main forces. I wonder if I could lure the enemy away. I don't know. This is gonna be absolutely nuts. And then we put a bunch here, and I'm basically at fifty percent. I'm basically already there. 
now what if I have these amazing Asian warriors? I need them to like, hmm, follow up. Should we just do Taekwondo men? I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't think this is gonna work. 3,020, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. I don't think this is gonna work. The Taekwondo men will not be able to beat footmen in combat. My shields are pretty much already down, and that was my Samurai Master! He just flew off into space. Now, these guys are doing their jobs. I don't think this is possible. I think the amount of money we have is ridiculous. So, Mr. Marx, I've got something for you, friend. We are going to use $3,000 in Vikings. Yes, sir, Bob. Because the Baron Kingdom is almost entirely staffed by great and jubilant and savage Viking warriors. So you know what that means. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our special forces Vikings sneak in over here. Oh yeah, that's right. You know we're gonna have these headbutters. We're gonna have Velociraptors. I mean, what else did you expect in the Baron Kingdom? We got, we got, we got Velociraptors for days, boys. All right, so we've got no champion. We've gotta somehow kill that guy. Um, um, let's see. This is okay. It's okay. But these guys are gonna eventually be killed be when they miss. There's just so many archers. They're almost just like a temporary delaying tactic, really. But, that did okay. The Samurai Master is still there. And he's still alive. So killing him is going to be tricky. Hmm. Alright guys, we're totally equal on money right now, but Baron's Brigade has joined the battle. And you know what? You're all a bunch of bearman savages. Some of the best warriors in all the land, carrying giant axes, and using your bodies, and your blood fervor, your adrenaline to just take arrows to the chest with no regard for safety. Just your only goal is to protect Baron's kingdom and toss these little menial archers aside. There you go, Mr. Mox. How about that? Reinforcements. From Baron's Brigade, Mr. Mox's army goes dead! Yeah! Blue victory! We're victorious! Alright, so this is the Battle of Rimnik in 1789 by the Ottoman forces versus the Russo-Austrian alliance. So, red are the Turk- or the Ottoman Janissaries here. And they have over- they have 100 musketmen. I'm not expecting blue to win this one, but technically, according to history- <laughs> Oh, that would have been amazing if it- You're shooting your own freaking dudes, Cannon! Will you position me here, Baron? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should position you in a much better spot. Dude, all of these musketmen are coming in, and they're going after these cannons. It's not looking good for the Russo-Austrian alliance here. However, musketmen have this tendency to absolutely miss cannons. They fire right over. I don't know what it is about them, but even look at this. They should be able to knock this guy out with ease, but instead, he's gonna knock them out with ease. He just took three out with one shot. There's six over there. Can he do it? Boom! He just took out five with one shot. You gotta be kidding me, ladies and gentlemen. A cannon to the chest. And you know what? So, this was the first and last battle for the Ottoman general, according to Dominic here. Um, now, he had four times the bigger army and still lost. Is this a for real battle? This is absolutely nuts. But you know what, we're gonna owe this battle being a loss because look at this. These guys just can't aim. They can't even, they can't even do their, they, they, oh my god, he took a cannon to the hip and survived. We've got a cannon kind of derping out of there. One's flying, he's deciding, I want to be a helicopter. And as a result, he is, uh, you know, developing new ways to fight his enemies here. Come on, you sissies, what is going on? Dude, I cannot wait till we have bayonet soldiers. Oh my gosh, and officers, and the guys with the banners. Do you know how cool the Napoleonic era faction is going to be once this is updated? Look at this, we've got we've got potentially a stalemate. Oh, he's, he's flinging bodies at him. He took one out. All right, now this cannon is poof, missing. There's only one soldier left. The last Janissary. I want some Turkish delight and delicious coffee, please. As a last meal, did you just shoot that cannonball or did it hit the ground? You know what? I don't know. Can can musket balls hit cannonballs in the air and blow them up? Didn't we see? Oh, there he is, the last Janissary down. Didn't we see some updates to cannons? All right, guys. So this last suggestion comes in from 
The Normal One Sin Thillersher Ripoff. I'm not sure what the name means, but this is the Battle of Tabs. So the red team are the players there are armed with entirely ranged weaponry. And then it's the zombies. Now we've got 10 peasants, 5 headbutters as the goat zombies. And we've got 5 bearmen as the slenderman zombies. And the chicken man man himself as the giant zombie. Balance may be needed, and also I've never been featured. Well, you have been today! Congratulations! It's my birthday, and you've been featured. What a good day for both of us. Let's start this battle. So, we've got the giant chicken man man, and he's pooping out little people, and they are pooping out chickens. I want to make a giant chicken. I don't know, I just thought of that right now. I want to make a unit where he's just the chicken king. The giant chicken. Now, these chickens are gonna have to do some great work, and I think, oh, it's just too fast. They're just too dead, they're just too dead there. So you know what we need? There needs to be more zombies. And zombie headbutters. Look at this, oh, we're putting them in, boys. Let's see how the humans do against this zombie outbreak. This truly is a zombie apocalypse. Oh my god. Even still, these M16 men are just excellent at just knocking down almost everybody. I, I, there, there are just not a lot. There's actually more probably deaths to friendly fire here than actual zombies. And two right now! One's broken through the lines! Freak out! Oh! Zombies are here, boys. Oh my god, I thought he died, but he, he got back up. That was pretty cool. Alright, well, what's happening now? The chicken man man is dead. There's a few chicken men, which is interesting. Look at how the AI works. If these guys can get the chickens in and this guy can survive and dodge enemy shot... Oh! I think it's possible. Is he dead? He's definitely dead. It's a blue victory! Zombie apocalypse prevails! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. Thanks for helping me celebrate my birthday and kind of another milestone for the channel because it's a little bit over a year since we've been going hard in the paint over here on Baron Von Let's Play. I'm very excited for the tabs release. Leave your custom battle suggestions and challenge suggestions. Challenges that are true challenges, not just like, this is impossible, because those are stupid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron's Brigade, where you at? Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.